A second batch of documents related to sex offender Jeffrey Epstein has been unsealed. These are materials connected to accusations against Epstein and his associates. Now, the first batch dropped earlier this week following a federal judge's ruling in December. Both sets of documents contain the names of high-profile individuals. Many of those people are not accused of any wrongdoing. Much of the information had been previously reported. CBS News legal contributor Jessica Levinson joins us now. She's also a professor at Loyola Law School. Uh, Jessica, welcome. So what new information are we learning from this batch of documents? I think you were exactly right that much of this has already been publicly reported, and that's why the judge in this case said, yes, we will release the documents. As you said, these are documents and evidence that was related to a previous suit by one of Jeffrey Epstein's accusers, and that suit actually settled, but the Miami Herald has been dogged in their determination to have these documents released. And I think really what we're reminded of is the scope of the friendships that Jeffrey Epstein had and how high profile they are. We're, of course, reminded that he had friendships and interactions with two former presidents, uh, Clinton and Trump, and that he was friends with luminaries. The question of how exactly this accused sex trafficking ring was accomplished and who exactly helped him, I don't think that is fully answered by the second trove. And I'm wondering if the release of these names, this additional information, do you expect that this will lead to any new charges or lawsuits? At this point, I don't. Uh, Jeffrey Epstein, of course, died in prison. Ghislaine Maxwell is already serving 20 years in prison. And based on the reporting and based on what we've seen in the last few days and hours, I think, again, what we're seeing here is a fuller picture, but I don't know that we're seeing any moment where somebody's saying, and now here's the new set of criminal charges, or and now here's the new set of civil suits that will be filed. And again, to remind everybody, these are documents that were related to an underlying civil suit, not actually the federal criminal charges pending against Jeffrey Epstein related to the accusations that he was essentially running a um, child sex trafficking ring. Right, an important distinction. So Jessica, should we expect more documents to be released? So yes, the attorneys have said that there could be more documents. I don't think that we should necessarily expect more bombshells. I know we're used to that when it comes to the news, but I think we are just going to see more transparency, but not necessarily a huge amount of new information. All right, Jessica Levinson, thank you. Thank you.